Okay, everybody. It's Randy with Sith Survival here for another video. So today, I'm going to show you. Let me make sure this is where it needs to be. There we go. I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to make blueberry jam. Show you everything you're going to need. Okay. First off, I'm starting with three cups of blueberries. Actually, there's four here, but once I grind them up, they're going to be three cups. So you need the blueberries. Okay. You're going to need some pectin. Pectin. I'm not sure how to spell it, but it starts with a P. And they sell this at your local grocery stores. I was itching my nose again, Marty. Um, you're going to need three and one third cups of granulated sugar. They also sell that at the grocery store. But um, grab your ankles when you go buy it now. Also, a jar funnel of sorts so you can pour your stuff through there into the jars. It should be self-explanatory, but I went to school with a few people that you have to explain this for. A wee bit of lemon juice. Make sure you shake it before you use it. It says so in the bottle. And then refrigerate after opening. One of these little neat devices here is handy when you have to pull the jars out of the boiling water. You just kind of use it like that. It's a jar grabber. I don't know what the technical term for that. Since my blender broke, I lost my freaking blender. It was awesome too. I'm using a wand blender. Actually, it turns out it's a little bit easier. See that? Don't put your finger in there. It's a bad idea. Um like a six quart saucepan uh, in here is water with the lid to the jar you need to kind of start to semi boil those to get the A sterilized and B it softens up the little rubbery edges and make sure this is in view yeah you can still kind of see it you don't have to use a pressure cooker for this but since it's a large pot and it's a pressure cooker I'm using it you know just something to put the lids over you basically fill put your jars in there after you fill them up with the stuff fill it above the jars turn it on once it starts to boil you go for about 10 minutes um, is what I found best and I'm, I'm running about seven seven or eight jars at a time um, so again three cups of mixed up blueberries three and a third cup sugar it's probably going to require three tablespoons of pectin in the whole mix so what I'm going to do is mix these up put them in oh yeah don't forget you're going to need jars whatever size you want I use like one of these pints and these are half pints because greedy people like to come over here and take them so I give the little ones away um, you're gonna need some sardines and beer and in this case I'm using hams so I'll explain that part later Actually, the beer part should be self-explanatory, and I'm full of shit. You don't need sardines. I just had them laying there, and thought I'd throw that in there. Um, okay, so what I do, first off, is I grind up these blueberries, and I'll give you a little, a little show. We'll get that out of the way, and set that in the way again. So I take this little wand thingy and just start 
grind them up till they become a pulp. Uh, shit. Don't go falling on me. So that right there is approximately three of these. Uh, they're calling it a dry pint. It's three of these. I got these at Aldi's for 90 cents a piece, which is dirt cheap. These are the same size that my local shop and safe was 3.98. So you can find some pretty good deal at Aldi's. But that's that part. So you know, I'm gonna go ahead and get this shit grinded up. And when I get to the second process of mixing the sugar and all that together, I'll start the video again. So I'm going to do a three-part video, and the last part will be this. Um, so stay tuned, and uh, happy Sunday, guys. I'm supposed to be going to a barbecue, but I have heard no details as of yet. So. Maybe it's not going to happen. Who knows? Have a great one. I hope this turned out. Otherwise, I'm going to have to do it again. And I really don't like that fact. Because the last video I did, I had to do the fourth time. was the only one that worked. So, have a good one. Hope you guys like this. We'll see you.